everybody, this is Praxis. Do you remember yesterday when I said I'm not going to put the sill plate down on because I felt the anchor bolts hadn't cured in there? Well, I just, I just couldn't wait. <laughs> I just really wanted to see it down there, so I cut them all up and I put them down, but I did not tighten them down. These, uh, these nuts on here, they just kind of loosely put on there in place, and I'm going to wait as long as I possibly can, and then I'll be, you know, really uh, ratcheting them down nice and tight. The exception to that, actually, is the lower area because that has been sitting and drying, uh, curing, not drying, curing for quite a while. So the, that whole lower section was nice and strong. But the upper one, I figured I would, I would wait and uh, you know, there's no rush. So I'll just, I'll start tightening them down before I get going on the rest of the build. What I'm working on today is uh, the outside of the foundation. Uh, what I did do yesterday that I planned to do yesterday and I did uh, accomplish is uh, this pink foam insulation uh, here. I took the sheets and I started sliding them in. Uh, I've got some sticks here to kind of prop them up against here. And what I'm uh, doing right now is I'm taking some uh, gravel from my driveway and I'm throwing the gravel down uh, along the side there. The reason for that is I'm kind of trying to create sort of a French drain kind of situation. If you look behind you over here, I I'd, I'd grabbed a bunch of this stuff. This is a uh, corrugated drain pipe that I'd had just, you know, kicking around from other projects. And I was going to do a whole drain around the outside of the foundation. And I'm not saying that's not a good idea, but the reality is, uh, you know, I don't know, I was lazy or whatever when I was excavating this, and I didn't really excavate it back enough uh, for me to be able to really get in and do any of that work. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I'm making the best that I uh, can out of the situation that was created by my own uh, sloth. Uh, when I was doing the excavation. So uh, what I'm doing is kind of like a French drain. Uh, I'm pouring in the gravel so that when water kind of gets in there, it doesn't just sit up against the foundation, it'll have kind of a way of getting out. And I'm kind of moving my arms like this and I'm hoping the water does that, where it just gets into the gravel and it can kind of flow around and get out on the other side. Um, Fingers crossed. I, I mean, it, it, should, it should really work fine. It's not super deep or anything like that. We do get a lot of snow coming off the uh, back of the house, and it does pile up here, and in the spring, that kind of goes out this way, but we're you know, kind of far away from that. We get a lot of plants that are drinking it up. I'm trying to psych myself up for this being an okay idea. Uh, so I've just been pilfering gravel from my driveway and uh, dumping it down on the side here. Again, I've got these sticks that are holding this foam up against the foundation because uh, what's really a pain is when you're doing this and if there's any kind of a gap and you throw it, if any of the gravel goes back there, you know, you ain't never getting that foam nicely up against the foundation again unless you're like, we're to pull the whole thing out. And you know, I already explained how lazy I am. That's not gonna happen. So I've got them propped up so I don't get any rocks back there. But I'm uh, just kind of bringing uh, this level up. Uh, I guess I'm gonna, I wanna get like, I don't know, a foot or two of gravel in there, and then I'm going to take this dirt and push the dirt on top and make this section be all kind of complete. And I'm because I've been pilfering so much of this gravel from my driveway, I uh, ordered another uh, triaxle full of gravel. Uh, triaxle is a type of dump truck that has three axles, tri meaning three. Uh, that's coming. That's five hundred and sixty dollars for a triaxle full of. Uh, this is three quarter inch crushed stone washed, uh, and you want the washed kind if you want this kind of stuff. Otherwise, it comes with a bunch of like dirt and stuff like that if you're ordering like driveway gravel. Um, so that's coming uh, uh, in a couple of days. And in the meantime, I'm just uh, shoveling this in here. And then what I'll do is uh, once the big pile comes, I'm going to use the uh, tractor, get some scoops, and we'll be able to drive right up here and dump the scoops right in there, make a nice uh, bed of gravel for the floor, and then. That mixer's already moved in, into position right up here, and we'll be able to mix the concrete for the floor and make the real floor for the place. So that's the way things are going right now, and I think they're going all right. Uh, you know, I kind of, I wish I'd left a little more room for myself, but I think this is going to work fine. Thanks for watching.